What turned our mission control operators into heroes was what happened after the launch of Apollo 13 in the spring of 1970. The rest, as they say, is history. The story was retold on location in Houston in the Academy Award winning Apollo 13. We've got a problem here. What did you do? Nothing. Stir the tanks. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Apollo 13 came out to Space Center Houston 20 years ago. And we were a very young center. You know, we opened back in 1992. We got the call from Ron Howard that they wanted to come out here and participate with Space Center Houston to promote and produce the film. I mean, that was a huge opportunity. We have a main bus being undervolt. We have a lot of things that relate back to Apollo 13, including the scrubber uh, that was actually built in Mission Control. When they, they had to move into the lunar lander and they had to use that basically as a lifeboat, it was only designed to support two people, so they had to modify it to support three. Those CO2 levels are going to be getting toxic. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole. They came up with what they kind of affectionately dubbed the mailbox, which is this invention that included duct tape and flight books and all kind of cobbled together to to meet the needs of the crew we got to find a way to make this fit into the hole for this using nothing but that when ron howard was trying to put together this documentary essentially he he wanted to recreate that environment of microgravity and so he approached NASA and they started working together and, and they agreed to fly the crew in the KC-135 and it flies a series of parabolas so it goes out over the Gulf of Mexico and it'll, it'll make a, a, a steep turn up and then it kind of goes in this arc and as it's going over the top everything in the inside essentially gets thrown into the air and everyone floats for 12 to 20 seconds and everyone was excited about it except for Kevin Bacon who eventually caved and said okay okay you know he didn't want to be the only guy that didn't want to fly it's just doing and they filmed inside and Ron Howard was amazed at how much footage they were actually able to shoot inside we've got a computer restart the RCS we've got a police fire we've got multiple caution and warning Houston one of the beautiful things about Houston, Texas, is that we are the home to the astronaut corps. We are home to Johnson Space Center. And that is really profound when you think about it. We have an organization that their sole purpose is to take people, take the best among us, and to put them into these spacecraft and launch them into space. I mean, that's incredible. And once they're up there, we do amazing research on board the International Space Station. We push the boundaries of human knowledge by going to the moon, by launching spacecraft that haven't yet been proven. Really. It's amazing, and it's a central part of what we try to do here at Space Center Houston, is take that profound story and relate it to the public. Okay, Houston, we've had a problem here. A lot of people say that Apollo 13 was NASA's most successful failure. We had astronauts on their way to the moon, heading nearly 300,000 miles uh, out from our home planet, from their homes, their family, everything they knew. And we had this catastrophe. And we realized that it was the job of the people on the ground to get the astronauts back home safely, and that's effectively what we did. Flight, they're all over the place. They keep going close to Gimbal Lock. One at a time, people. One at a time. The term failure is not an option. It's something that's really written across the, the mindset of the flight controllers, even nowadays, uh, in mission control, that once they're out there and they're in that void, it's our responsibility to get them back home safely and to accomplish the mission. Uh, Houston, we got a pretty large bang there. Something that could have gone horribly wrong uh, ended up being a, a huge success for us as an agency. And four more times, we actually landed human beings on the surface of the moon, collected samples, and learned quite a bit. What could have been a showstopper, NASA was able to recover and continue forward with the program and do great things. Let's get that hatch button. The might have been hit by a meteor. Yep. We're taking people, we're sending them at tremendous speeds. In the case of Apollo, it was 25,000 miles an hour, sending them far away from home and to lunar orbit, sending them to another celestial body. Uh, even, even though it's something we've done, it's almost inconceivable that we could do it, but we did. And the fact that we accomplished that it really is, is sort of a, a credit to humanity as a whole, that our, our species is innovative enough and ambitious enough to do these incredible things. Wow, you know, that's the potential that we have. When we put our mind to it, Nothing is impossible. This is Apollo Control, Houston, at uh, 105 hours. Uh...